joget lengser Have you ever heard about this song before? Yes, this song is about a woman who have a black magic power called Chalon Arang My name is Niti, I'm for Thomas Aquino Junior High School and here is the story A long, long time ago, in a kingdom of Daha that was led by king named Prabhu Airlangga grew an evil power in a small village called Gira. There lived a magical widow named Kiranda, but she was given a nickname, Chalon Arang. Despite her cruelty, Chalon Arang had a beautiful daughter named Ratna Mangali. Ratna Mangali was so different from her mother, both in character and appearance. All Chalonarang's bad behavior made her feared by the villagers, so no one wanted to marry her daughter, Ratna Mangali. This made Chalonarang angry. The anger of Chalonarang led the village into destruction. One night, she performed a terrible ceremony at the grave in hope that Batari Durga will come down and grant her revenge request. Oh, Batari Durga, god of destruction, grant your seventh wish. Send a very dangerous disease to the whole villagers in Gira. And don't give the cure. Let them suffer for their disrespect on me. Grant it, grant it, grant it, Batari Durga. Kiranda's curse came true. The dangerous disease spread over the kingdom. This terrible disaster reached the king's ear, the ruler of Daha. The king trust that this terrible disaster was the act of a black magic practitioner who worshipped Batari Durga, Chalon Arang, and he immediately sent the trusted Sinopati to arrest her. Go, get Chalon Arang. I don't care if she lives or die. She must be responsible for her sins. Hurry and go get her. And with the order of the king, the trusted Senopati came to Gira village to arrest Chalonarang. Hey Chalonarang, get out and come here. You must pay for your sins. You must die. <laughs> Don't joke with me. You are the one who's going to die. <laughs> Unfortunately, the trusted Senopati and half of his guard was instantly defeated by the power of Chawanarang. And the rest of them fled back to the kingdom with the news of their defeat. Prabhu Erlanga was increasingly worried about this condition. He finally asked a spiritual teacher named Empu Barada. Then the wise Empu Barada asked one of his students named Bahula to help him to defeat Chawanarang. Bahula was asked to marry Ratna Mangali. In order to carry out a task from his teacher, Bahula went to Gira village to propose Chalonarang's daughter. Chalonarang, who was impressed by Bahula's attitude and intelligence, decided to let him marry her daughter. Chalonarang held a massive wedding party for about seven days and seven nights. There was happiness in the eyes of Chalonarang and Ratna Mangali. Bahula and Ratna Mangali loved each other. But the happiness of Chalonarang was the beginning of her downfall. Bahula, who still carried out a task from his teacher, began to plan a strategy. When Chalonarang was sleeping after the massive wedding party, Bahula sneaked out into Chalonarang's room. He stole her magic book, which had been the key of Chalonarang's supernatural power. Then Bahula bought this book to his teacher, Mpu Barada. Finally, Mpu Barada knew 
that the weakness of Chawanarang was Chris welling putih. When Chawanarang realized that her magic book lost, she started to get angry. She suspected that Mpu Barada was behind of this entire incident. Her suspicious grew after she knew that son-in-law disappeared. Hey, Ratna Mangali, come here! Yes, mom? Where is your husband? Why he disappeared at the same time I lost my book? I, I don't know, mom. When you were sleeping, I was sleeping too. Ah, surely that child is a messenger of Barada. How dare you, Barada? I will kill you! Then, Mpu Barada and Bahula went to Gira village to kill Chawonarang because that was the only way to stop the suffering of Gira people. Hey, Chawonarang, get out! <laughs> As I thought, you must be behind of this, Barada. How dare you, Barada? I will kill you. <laughs> then Mpu Barada took out his kris welling putih. When Chawonarang saw it, she was immediately shocked. How persistent you are, Barada. You won't be able to kill me even if you use that kris. Oh really, your rudeness will be the beginning of your death. We'll see. <laughs> Although Chawanarang had used all of her strength, she cannot overcome the rage of Mpu Barada. Chawanarang, a black magic practitioner, was finally killed in the hand of Mpu Barada. And that's the end of Chalonarang's story. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.